welcome to savvy id solutions in this video we are discussing about java output statements data types and variables okay so four types of output statements are there we will discuss in this video at the same time data types and variables are discussed in detail so initially we need to discuss output next data types and furtherly variables are discussed so javascript output javascript can display data in different ways one is writing into an alert box using windows dot alert okay second one writing into the html outputs document output using document dot write writing into an html element using inner html and the fourth one is writing into the browser console using console dot log these are the four different types of output statements available in javascript so the first one is window dot alert simply in the script line we need to write window dot alert of so and so that is enough for writing it so remaining skeleton is common so already in the previous video we mentioned that javascript is written anywhere in the html document It means it is in the, basically we are writing in the head section apart from that we are also write in the body section as well as the external file we can import it so when i am explaining it the same concept is repeated so here we are using body section and i am writing in the script windows dot alert of some addition of 5 plus 6 the output will be given as 11 okay so the next one is document dot write so here simply document dot write of using it same concept with the small changes are happen for testing purposes it is convenient to use document dot write okay so the method indicates the procedure indicates directly how we are using it right next using inner html to access an html element javascript can use the document dot get element by id method the id attribute defines the html element the inner html property defines the html content okay so see here the p tag paragraph tag id is equal to demo so document dot get element by id the demo dot inner html is equal to 5.6 automatically the value is stored in demo the display will be available here the output is shown in this block the output will be shown so here we need to remember that document dot get element by id if you use any tag that is secondary for me secondary for uh, the html the primary object is the name will be matched including the case sensitiveness okay so the next one is using console dot log in your browser you can use the console dot log method to display data okay simply console log of so and so value nothing more in between so i think you understand the basic output statements in javascript so please re uh, remember that java is different and javascript is different both are not at all same okay uh, in the next video i will explain you the difference between java and javascript very clearly okay but lot of differences are there but uh, some similarities also there we will discuss both of them okay but here java is different and javascript is different so that we are learning purely javascript not in java mm. now the data types javascript supports the following data types one is boolean integer floating point strings arrays and objects okay sometimes arrays also work like an object i think you understand we cannot uh, in the whenever we are creating a variable no need to define the type of the data type automatically based on the value it converts the data into a particular the variable is converted into a particular data type no need to mention okay so the next part is very very important what is variable and how we are creating variables in javascript javascript variables are case sensitive and can contain a mix of letters and numbers okay javascript does not identify its variables by prefixing them 
with a special character such as a dollar sign. JavaScript uses the where statement to explicitly declare variables. So where x where x is equal to twenty, where x is equal to twenty first name is Steve. So like this we are creating variables in JavaScript. So here where x I don't know what type of data type x contains. Here it knows that x is equal to twenty so that x is a type of integer. And here no, we are not specifying any data type. If we define with uh, the statement where automatically that will be a variable. So the general rules for constructing names for variables, unique identifiers are names can contain letters, digits, underscore, and dollar sign. Names must begin with a letter. Names can also begin with a dollar and underscore, but we will not use it in this tutorial okay names are case sensitive y and y are not at not different variables okay reserved words like javascript keywords cannot be used as names i think you understand the concept very clearly okay so in this video we are learning about output statements how we need to define output statements we are learning in four ways one is window dot alert and second one is document dot write and the third one is inner html and the fourth one is console dot log these are the four types of output statements available in javascript okay the second part is we are learning about data types we have boolean integer float point strings arrays and objects sometimes arrays also act as an object already i stressed on that and no need to mention the data type when we are creating a variable that is also important point noted in your thing so the next one is we are learning about variable and rules for creating a variable okay these are the things helpful in further in the next video exactly we are making on difference between java and javascript similarities and differences between java and javascript if we learn that definitely we understood java is different and javascript is different and there is a lot of scope between these two i already now i am mentioned that one important point now the world's popular programming language is javascript not java why because when the javascript is developed it is very lightweight but now after javascript they developed ajax later jquery later angular js these are coming into the picture automatically the javascript is so popular now not only popular one of the hottest programming languages in the world i think you understand java is more powerful when compared to javascript but today means in 2019 to onwards the world's popular programming language is javascript who are having scripting languages client state scripting languages they are very much demand in the market okay thank you